All right, guys, welcome to a new computer animation tutorial. And what we're going to get to know to do today is creating a card that pops open and has something pop out of it for maybe Mother's Day or Memorial Day or whatever holiday you'd like to create a little pop out card for. And so here's kind of a preview of what we're going to create. So the main part we're going to go over is how to create this kind of opening card effect here using a little frame by frame animation action here in Wick Editor. So let's get started. Um, the thing we'll want to start with here is I'm going to just go to a fresh new tab, open up Wick Editor here, and I will delete the load autosave. So first thing we're going to do is on this first layer, uh, we're going to call this the back of the card. So we'll just call it back oops not L back just back and then we'll create another new layer um, and this one will be the front of the card or the cover and so let's just call that one cover all right so starting out on this back layer uh, let's take our rectangle tool um, I might turn my outline down to zero um, you can you don't have to do that but uh, I like to have my uh, shape here uh, not outlined so I'm gonna take kind of like a reddish kind of color for the back of the card and just going to go ahead and click and drag to make a rectangle here and you kind of want to keep the card back off to the right hand side a little bit um, so I'm going to take my arrow tool and just make sure that it goes off to the right because when this flips open you want there to be a little bit of space here for the opening part of the card so maybe even start just a little bit more over to the right so when this flips open you'll have another rectangle here and so you if you want that still centered kind of on the uh, whole scene then that would be a good positioning just a slightly off to the right now I'm just going to take this rectangle and I'm just going to click on its frame here and I'm just going to go command C to copy and then go to the cover layer here and command V to paste and so that means I have another uh, that's on this layer on top and I'm just going to click on this one go to my fill color and change up my fill color to something different all right so now if I were to hit the hide layer button over here you could see I can see the layer on the back underneath it um, let's go ahead then and expand my frames First, I, I kind of like turning my frame size down so that I can see more of my frames in action here. Um, you click these kind of like little mountainy looking icon in the corner here. You can make them smaller. Um, so I'm going to uh, stretch this to the length of my animation is going to be 35, 36 frames out here. So I'll click, uh, keep that out there to start. The cover is going to start to turn at about the 14th or 15th frame here. So um, a little over a second here to read kind of the cover message before it starts to flip open. Um, basically what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna take this frame, I'm gonna Command C it, uh, click here and Command V it onto here, um, just to start one single frame where these are gonna turn over, right? Um, so with this frame selected, I'm going to take my path cursor tool, I'm going to go over the corner of this card, and I'm just going to pull it up and out, up and over to the left. And same with the bottom corner, up over to the left. Now I'm going to click on this frame that I just adjusted, Command C, click here, Command V to paste it. And now I'm just going to pull this up even further and pull this one down and over even further. So I have two frames of it starting to open up there, and now I'm going to click this frame again, Command C, and then Command V to paste, and I'm going to take this again and even come up higher and down lower and really start to make this look like it's opening up pretty far now. Um, my next frame, I'm going to Command C this one and Command V it here to paste. Now I'm going to actually swing this towards being open, right? So I'm going to move these points over. So now this card is opened up a little bit. And then I will copy that. So another Command C and then a Command V. Again, you're going to be holding Control if you are using a Chromebook for this animation. Um, opening that up a little more. And then I'm going to do one more where it's just fully open. And so for that, actually, it might be best to even just take this original frame here, uh, Command C to copy it, Command V to paste it here. I'm going to shorten it to be um, 
just one frame actually it might end up being more frames actually that's right because this is going to be open for the rest but where it will be is over here let me click it oh i have my path cursor not my regular cursor and i just need it to be over here um, open right next to the card here so it looks like it's slightly off Maybe just one more scooch up. That seems good. So now when I look at this and I play it, um, you can see that it creates that illusion that you have the card front opening. And um, let's hit preview play so we can see what this will look like. So that's the basic kind of card opening effect that we're going for. And you can use this for any number of things like making a door open or any kind of box or anything else that has, you know, kind of like a rectangular shape that opens and shuts. Um, so next things that we're really getting into is just adding a little bit more detail here. We want to add some kind of a message on the front here. Now, if um, you want to add any kind of, uh, you know, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Memorial Day, whatever we're going to add, we'll take our text box here, our text tool, we'll click to add a text box, and I'm going to type in here, Happy Mother's Day exclamation point I'll then take my cursor tool oops that's the same color right now I clicked on that text I'm gonna change my fill color to be that red and then I can change my font family from the menu on the side here and as I kind of go down the line we'll see if these texts change they don't change live so I'll have to kind of pick one and just be happy with it. I can't quite recall the exact font I had here before. This looks pretty close. Um, and the nice thing about working with text here in Wick Editor is I can just kind of click drag and expand that um, rather than kind of messing with the font sizes and stuff, trying to get the font the right size. Just click drag that box to be the right size. So now what's going to happen is this, the title that's on the front card will go away once the card starts to open. And so that works out where um, that message just kind of disappears there. Um, and the last things we really want to make sure we do is we want to add some kind of a message um, that kind of comes out of the inside of the card. And so what we're going to do is add two other layers, one for um, a PNG graphic, which we're going to go over in a separate video of how to create a PNG graphic. And this is going to come out of the inside of the card. So we'll make a new layer called inside here. And then we'll do one last layer, and that's going to be kind of like the message that we want to kind of be uh, said out of the inside of the card, too. So message is what we'll call that layer. Um, this layer, I'm actually going to move all the way up to the top here. But the, what comes out of the inside of the card um, should be right in between the cover and the back. Right, And so what I was going to have come out of the inside of the card uh, was a PNG graphic that I had saved before, as um, you will see in another video tutorial on my channel that goes over how to make a PNG graphic that is transparent on the outside. So if you're using photos from the web um, and they have kind of like white backgrounds or backgrounds, you can take out the background and then... Um, you know, upload this to Wick Editor as PNG graphic, and you can use that in your animations. And the nice thing about a PNG graphic is it'll maintain that transparency. And so this is really big, obviously, but I'm gonna shrink it down small enough, hold the Shift key while you click and drag on the corner. And that what that does is it keeps your image proportional. So you can see that I didn't get it didn't get skewed in size. And so I just wanna shrink this small enough where it can fit inside my card right so now what I'll do is just kind of expand this frame of animation here uh, what we'll see and we'll see the flower when the card opens so really all I want to do is add a little tween action here and um, the tween doesn't necessarily need to start until a little bit further down the line but I can always add the tween here and then move its uh, starting point to you know right when the card opens right so with as the card opens then maybe by the end of the frame or once the card is open here i want that um, flower to pop out so here i'm going to expand this flower bigger and i'm just going to kind of move it out to the side here so it just kind of moves off to the corner right 
And so that's going to kind of make that look like it's popping out of the card of the Mother's Day card. And I can add some rotation to that as well if I click on this first diamond of the tween and I add some rotations, maybe like three rotations. And if I hit play, you can see that that flower kind of spins out as it kind of makes its way out of the card. And so the only other thing I was saying I was going to add is some kind of message that maybe drops in off the side here. Um, it says something like, you know, if you were saying Happy Memorial Day, you would say maybe thank you for your service. Or if you're saying Happy Mother's Day, I was saying thank you for all that you do. Because, you know, your moms, they do all the things they can, more so than sometimes than they're asked to do. But um, yeah, so one more text box I was just going to add here off to the side. And I was just going to say something like a little message like, thank you for all that you do. Another exclamation point. And uh, go to my cursor tool. I'll just click on this text. Uh, change up the color to something maybe a little different than what I've used already. Like a light green or maybe we'll go with like a blue actually. Yeah, something like one of these teal blues. Something like that will work well. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick out another font. Maybe I'll take the font that I almost took before. And now we can expand this text. Maybe I can double click on it here or click on it with my type tool. And, um, and maybe I'll just bump that down to another line so that it fits a little bit better. Um, the other things we can do is we can add stroke colors to text, so we can add a little outline action. Um, sometimes that's nice. Uh, it looks a little funny right now, but if I was to change the background color of my animation, uh, it will help it stand out. So let's say I picked kind of like a, maybe a really light green or something for my background color. Uh, it's also a good time to name your project. Hit that gear to change your background project uh, color and name your project. And we'll just call this like pop out card or pop up card. And we'll say apply. So you can see that the white outline kind of helps just a little bit. You know, I can make that a darker outline maybe even as a better idea. Something that's a darker color might help that stand out a little more. Um, so I was just going to add a little tween action for this too, you know, just move it off the top side of my stage, add a tween here, I'll expand this, and just kind of make this um, message pop in, you know, sometime right about maybe when the, uh, the card opens as well. So it might be kind of lined up here with the other tween um, that I had created for the flower. I'm going to add another point. And I'll just kind of drag this in, I think maybe give it a little rotation um, so that this message then kind of drops in and goes with the opening of the card. So if I hit play, you have the card open, a little message kind of pops down from the side, and then the sunflower spins out. So, um, you know, you can always, you know, get a little more experimental with the way your tweens work. Right, so we can always make these kind of come in, and then maybe I can do something like if I skip a couple frames, um, add in another tween spot. I like to do things like make these things kind of like pulse, like kind of go bigger and smaller. So maybe skip a couple frames, put in another tween spot, maybe make this shrink back smaller again, um, skip another couple frames, put another tween spot in, and then pop this frame out a little bit more. Um, just kind of add, you know, just a little emphasis to the message where it just kind of pops. Those couple pops out are kind of nice. Um, you know, and might want this uh, sunflower to continue spinning all the way to the end of my message. So I might actually take this uh, and slide that ending spot of that tween all the way to the end so that you kind of see that flower just continue to keep kind of spinning all the way through the end of the message. So anyways, that's it for this uh, animation tutorial, getting to know how to make this kind of card opening and have a PNG graphic popping out of it. So hope you guys have fun with creating your own animations for this project.